Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my page, Money Making Juggernaut. I'm your host, Eric Richardson, the number one educator in the asset recovery business. Today, guys, I want to share with you a little walkthrough on how I got this deal. Um, we're going to take a look at a mortgage foreclosure that took place in Ohio. All right, this came from Butler County, Ohio. And just so you guys know, my office is located in Florida. I'm able to do deals in all 50 states. You do not have to live in the state or the county that you wish to assist somebody on filing for a claim for surplus funds. All right, so I'm gonna walk you guys through how we marketed, how we got the deal, how we filed the claim, how we finalized it, and how we got paid. All right, so this property right here, this was foreclosed in Butler County, Ohio. As you can see, this property isn't the nicest property. All right, typically when we look at real estate, we want to buy properties that we can either renovate, fix and flip, properties that we could put on Airbnb, properties that we could sell, properties that are nice. Surplus funds allows us to get into real estate, first of all, with no money down, no previous experience, no license required, and we can make money without having to renovate properties, without having to you know, close a deal, wholesale a property or anything like that. We're just literally helping them filing for a claim. So this property went to foreclosure, all right? And when the property sold, it sold for amount higher and that left the surplus funds that are available. So what we did, um, and just so I can show you guys, we went ahead and received our final payout on this. We got paid um, from our attorney. Uh, we went ahead and had them file our claim. I highly recommend for Ohio, it is judicial, um, to go ahead and use an attorney on both your mortgage foreclosures and your tax sales. Once we found out that this lead did have an excess opportunity, the property sold for a higher amount and there was a surplus, we then did our research, all right? So basically, I'll go ahead and walk you guys through that. All right, so Butler County, Ohio, they use real foreclosure. All right, real foreclosure services many states. If you guys have seen me do training on Florida, Basically, they have an auction calendar that shows you when sales take place. So what we do is we review the sale. After the sale takes place, you'll get the results. All right, if a property is sold to a third-party bidder, that is our first indicator that there potentially will be a surplus. Now, in Ohio, you're going to have to do a second layer of research. They do provide a case number. We took this case number. We then had searched that information on the county's directory. All right, we did a claim case search. We went ahead and seen the docket. We reviewed the information. We saw the proof that the funds were available, but nobody filed a claim. All right. So after we did that, we said, you know what, this is a, a prime opportunity. We then found out who the previous owner was. All right. So what did we do? We go to the property appraiser site. All right. They give you the information. They give you the parcel number. You're able to get the property address. You're able to see who the previous owner is. This is all public information. Once we obtain that and we now know who we need to skip trace, we send that document out to skip tracing and then boom, now we go ahead and market them. All right, so they end up getting dumped into the CRM, okay? So we actually did this all through Excess Elite, all right? So once we identify the lead, we go ahead and we send that off to skip tracing. After that is sent to skip tracing, we then do our blast communicating. All right, so Access Elite has a lead and database. We can go directly into the report um, for that county. If we wanted to work Ohio, we can go in here. This came from Butler County. We go to Butler and we can have the important links for us to do our research. We have a link to the excess proceeds, clerk of courts, the record search, the tax sales. We were able to do our research on this property and determine that this was a valid claim. Now, once we dumped the contact in the CRM, all right, we, we're going to get our formats. We dumped it into our CRM. We then add our marketing tag, all right, and in the CRM through the marketing tag, we have outreach campaigns. We have campaigns for the previous owner in the post foreclosure. We have a campaign for pre foreclosure. We have a campaign for a relative, and then we do our voicemail drops. And what we do is we send out a sequence of messages, all right? So I have in a post foreclosure, I send out this initial message, I wait a day, I send a follow-up message, I wait a day, I do a final outreach. And what happens is clients end up 
texting back or calling back in. So in this scenario on the claim that we ended up closing, they ended up calling into my call center. All right, when they call into the call center, you're then able to see who's giving you a call. You can go to the contacts, you can pull up their information, and now you can have a educated conversation. All right, we can go into the contact, we can view everything. All right, the client's information, the type of client, the surplus amount, the opening bid, the closing bid. We had an educated conversation, then we sent over what I call the introductory email, all right, which is also already in a template in the CRM. All right, the introductory email is going to break down what happened at the foreclosure. We're going to apply the state statute. We're going to show proof, all right, and proof in this scenario is showing that the property was sold to a third party bidder for a higher amount. And then we call the client, we get them to sign. We ended up signing this through Rabbit Sign, which is a, a free online um, e signing with Rabbit Sign. We got them signed. And then we sent the information over to the attorney. After we sent the information over to the attorney, the attorney filed the claim. We waited, we received the check. All right. Now, this isn't you know, a super large check, but I mean, to be honest, it, it's good enough. You know, I like to target anything 10,000 and above. And once again, this came from Ohio. My office is located in Florida, but we service the entire state. So if we do a recap on how this deal was got, all right, initially we are viewing the auction results, all right, directly from the county. You can toggle through many counties in Ohio on this list. If you want to work Cuyahoga Summit, we're looking for properties that are being sold to a third party bidder. You take the case number, you do your research. We have to really see how much is owed because in Ohio, the opening bid is only two thirds of the appraised value. Once we see that final judgment or the prayer amount, we compare that to what it was sold for. Boom, we establish the surplus. We send it off to be skip traced. And then we dump it into our CRM. We apply our marketing tags. We send out our marketing automation. We waited for the client to text and call us back in. We then got their email. We sent them over proof, sent them over the agreement form. They signed. We sent the detail over to the attorney. He then filed the claim. We waited. We got paid. The attorney got paid. The client got paid. Case done. All right. So surplus funds can be very simple if you have a strategic system that you execute. I highly recommend you guys following this format in which you're making a weekly spreadsheet of the properties that are selling for a higher amount. You're sending it off to be skip traced. You're marketing, you're sending proof, you're closing, use attorneys, and you will be successful. All right, guys. So if you want to learn from somebody that is still actively doing business, that has been doing this business since 2018, go ahead and check the link in the description. You guys can use the code TAKEACTION. You'll receive $100 off the course, and I'm looking forward to helping you out.